Okay, so, so now I will talk about atomic dipole moment and atomic polarizability. So, suppose we are having a, a non-polar molecule. Uh, sorry, not a non-polar molecule. Uh, sorry, I am having a uh, not a molecule, but uh, there is a atom. And say this is the atom, and say it is positive and negative charges around it and sometimes in some books this can be represented like this which means positive and negative center are coinciding and it is symmetrical means the charge is symmetrically distributed means negative charge is symmetrically distributed now what will happen when some electric field is applied means when there is some finite value of it then what will happen? There is a separation between positive and the negative charges. Means when electric field is applied along this direction. So that means there is a some separation between these two. Say negative will be here or here. So say this separation is dl. And this is due to the application of this electric field which we have applied. Right? And Due to this means the both positive and negative charge, they are separated apart. Say if ZE is the charge on the nucleus, then they are separated apart. So that means there is a separation between plus ZE and minus ZE. It means because it has the charge plus ZE and this must have the charge minus ZE and they are separated at DL distance or then it induces a dipole moment because dipole moment is induced when two charges equal and opposite charges when they are separated a certain distance apart then we can say that dipole moment will be the uh, will be it and this say z e is equal to magnitude z e is equal to q means q is the charge in that case then dipole moment is known as Q T L right so this dipole moment is known as atomic dipole moment right so thus atomic dipole moment so let us uh, try to uh, write down something about it so that means uh, when a nonpolar or when an atom when an atom is placed in electric field electric field positive charge move in the direction of applied field applied field and center of negative charge and center of negative charge move in opposite direction move in opposite direction and causes separation between positive and negative charges and thus atomic dipole moment dipole moment is given as that P is equal to Q D L as we have demonstrated here so this electric dipole moment elect, uh, sorry not electrical but atomic dipole moment moment is product of product of 
magnitude of charge developed on atom magnitude of charge developed on atom and the distance between center of positive and negative charge and distance of positive and uh, sorry distance between between center of positive and negative charges center of positive and negative charges right so this is all about the atomic type of moment now this the induced electric dipole moment on atom the this induced electric dipole moment dipole moment on atom Due to applied field, due to due to due to applied field is also proportional to is also proportional to proportional to strength of applied electric field strength of applied electric field e not that is p is proportional to e not so let us replace this proportionality constant with some constant say let us call that constant as alpha and thus this alpha is known as means proportionality constant is called atomic polarizability is called atomic polarizability right so therefore using this equation we can write down that alpha is equal to p upon e not e not is the applied electric field thus atomic polarizability thus atomic polarizability ability is defined as is defined as defined as electric dipole moment electric dipole moment or atomic dipole moment induced in the atom by an electric field of by an electric field of unit strength unit strength 
because what will happen that if if this uh, uh, polarization uh, sorry this dipole moment is divided by e not that means this is the dipole moment induced per unit electric field right so that's what's the meaning of it so this is a different way to look at the atomic polarizability and let us talk about their units now so since alpha is uh, sorry it is the p over e not so p is the dipole moment and dipole moment its unit is coulomb meter because charge into separation and electric field its unit will be volt per meter so that means i can write down its coulomb meter is volt per meter so it can be written as cm square per volt but this c by v it can also be written like this and this c by v is the farad so there is another way to look at it is it is the farad per meter square right so it is f meter square is the another way to look at so uh, the the unit of atomic polarizability will be coulomb meter square per volt or it can be written as farad meter square so that's all for this lecture and in the next lecture i will talk about the expression for atomic polarizability in terms of the atomic radii so that's all for uh, this uh, lecture